Ever since I upgraded to Windows 7, I've been experiencing some considerable performance loss compared to when I had XP. Just to give you proof I have Windows 7, yep, here you go. Those are features not present in Windows 7. Of course, I could also take some other routes, but eh, it's not really that important. Just to give you the idea, one of the problems I'm having is what I call pulsing. What do I mean by that? I'll show you. All I need to do is drag this over the edge of the image and watch. Ever noticed it's going about twice as fast all of a sudden? And then it's really slow for some time? Crank up the speed and you can still see the pulsing just as well. Yep, pretty significant. Well, they're kind of balanced out. But it also gets to pulsing again. I can see the pulsing right now. That's just one of the performance problems I'm experiencing, and it's not just in this program. I've experienced it in almost every program I have. Just to give you an idea, here's something that's got some ridiculous contrast, just so you could see it better. Same thing. Drag it over the edge of the image. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's really sudden there. It's pretty obvious that pulsing. That's what I mean by pulsing. So, what's going on? I have absolutely no idea. But, remember that fast speed, right? Just to show you again, here's, notice the fast speed of the pulsing? That's what XP would have been doing. Windows 7 is getting the slow speed and the fast mixed in. Eh, uh, hmm, okay, that is really weird. I'm sus kind of suspecting it has something to do Hmm. I'm having some suspecting that it's something to do with the core multiplayer not taking effect as I've said it in the BIOS or something screwy going on. I, I haven't confirmed or anything like that but right now in the BIOS I have the multiplayer set to 40 so I have 4 gigahertz but of course on XP I was noticing that it kind of drops to like something around uh, 1.6 gigahertz when it's inactive for which I do expect for power saving related reasons but this is always showing the same number which is actually what the factory speed is as if the overclocking is not taking any effect one thing of course I haven't done is setting the clock to like 24x just to see what happens underclocking there's nothing wrong with that overclocking yeah you do need to take a little extra precautions but that aside you kinda get the idea core temp just shows you what the basic temps are and stuff like that this is about typical, although my room's a bit on the warmer side right now. So, that aside, Windows Task Manager certainly looks a lot different. Yeah, it's highly diagnostic. It's what I'm used to. Because, after all, when you're a programmer, you kind of need to know these kinds of details. Of course, one thing I find annoying is when I start up uh, Windows 7 or start up my computer, this is never checked by default, and I would always like it to be checked. No idea why it's always doing that, and it's annoying. And of course, this is one feature I like about Windows 7, the resource monitor. I can closely monitor what's exactly going on. And just so you know how my memory usage is, yeah, it's around, typically this is about how much I have <coughs> out of my four gigs at the moment. But that's because I'm also working on other things in the background, namely this, for example. I'm working on the grass for Platform Master. So yeah, that does end up consuming a fair amount of memory. But close this, and yeah, I have about two gigs available. So it's not really memory that's a problem or hard faults, just to show you this. There's no hard faults at all. So it's not thrashing or things going in swap file or the like just to show you that's what's going on here. Of course, this I'm expecting to be high because, well, uh, I'm recording video. Disk usage I'm expecting to be high because, well, I'm uh, recording video. And, of course, network. You kind of get the general idea here. So, that's basically how that all works out on how I have things. So, you're probably also wondering what else has been going on with Windows 7 and the like. 
Well, one of the trouble spots I encountered was getting the um, playlist, this, my um, play counts backed up and stuff. As you can see here, are these rather ridiculous numbers. This song I've been at for nine and a third days almost by now, and still counting. Yeah, and same song and same speed, still going. I have it silenced because, well, uh, I'm not going to be playing it in the background. So what else is there? Well, the biggest problem I encountered was that my motherboard driver's disk was unreadable. So I had to go by and download the drivers. But I couldn't do that because my networking driver's on that disk. And without that networking driver, there's no internet, so I can't download it. That was the worst part of the Windows 7 install. All of my, all I do is I just pop the disk in the drive and it just attempts to read it and read it and read it and eventually gives up as if there's no disk in there. And there's clearly a disk in there. So, well that's mainly the problem, but sometimes I did actually get it to be readable. I checked the disk, there's no scratches or dirt or anything, I tried cleaning it, nothing worked. So, that was the root of the cause of all my troubles in Windows 7. Another annoyance that I had with Windows 7, notice how this Firefox window is way apart from the other ones. I absolutely hated that feature in XP. And Windows 7, you can't disable it without having to get a plug-in, as hinted at by this. And another reason I'm noticing here is, this should be visible, but it's not. Just to show you what I mean, uh, let's see, only show notifications. Why did that change on me? For some reason, this is always changing on me, and I have absolutely no idea why. Because, yeah, I used to always have this on XP. It just shows me another idea on what's going on with my CPU usage, in addition to this. Yeah, this one's also the CPU usage. So, other than that, that's pretty much about the main stuff. Hmm, where are you? Searching. Here it is. You're probably also wondering about these themes and stuff, right? Well, everyone keeps telling me, arrow this, arrow that. Eh, boy, is it getting so annoying. In fact, I've only seen arrow perform worse than what I have here. Because in a way, classic theme is... Well, you kind of get the general idea. Uh, it's simpler, more basic. It should be quicker. But, and that's kind of what I'm observing. It's about 1 to 5 percent faster depending on the settings on this. Turn off all the annoying animations and all that other kind of stuff and, well, performance increases. I expect that though. That aside, let's see. You might also be wondering, why am I silent on YouTube? After all, I'm not uh, commenting on anything and another thing I'm noticing here is that my arrow is uh, flashing invisible and stuff like that. It does that quite often in many places and I have no idea why. I have had issues with my video card driver though, however. But that aside, why am I silent on YouTube? Well, it all has to do with Google+. Plus. I absolutely refuse to get Google+. Plus. So, that means there's no inbox, so if you send me a message, you're not going to see it. Or I'm not going to see it, simple as that. And there's no commenting. I've disabled comments on every single one of my videos. Well, or at least I'm going to be as soon as February 1st comes. And, well, that just basically gives you the general idea. But there's a new avenue of contacting me now. What do you suppose Facebook is? Oh yes, Facebook, finally. Just to kind of give you the general idea. This is how you get to my profile, basically. Just to kind of give you that hint. So, that aside, of course, I'm also thinking about getting rid of that seven-day limit on my email for because it's kind of an inconvenience to many, or so it seems. I don't know if you're willing to be interested in it or not. But, yeah, YouTube is now the absolute worst way to contact me. I still will post videos as long as nothing else gets in my way. 